Caution is advised. Roses are red. Violets are blue. When the Sea Morning Zoo calls your man, he better choose you. War of the Roses. Catching cheaters one at a time. And it starts now. All right, and we welcome uh, Brianna to the show. Hey, Brianna. Hey, uh, you can just call me Brie if you want. Okay, Brie. Uh, so who are we putting to the test today? We are putting my boyfriend, Anthony, to the test. Okay, why are we putting Anthony to the test? Well, he recently started hanging out with these girls that live in his apartment complex. And, you know, like, they're nice and stuff, but I'm not always around to, you know, check on him. And one of these girls just broke up with her boyfriend, and I think he's been checking up on her. Yeah. You know, like, I don't know. It just, he doesn't need to have female friends, so that bothers me. So Okay, so but, but nothing specific, though? Like, you caught him texting this girl, or you heard a rumor about the two of them? No, no. Okay. Still, never to double check, right? I mean, uh, this is a great way to do that. What we're going to do here is we'll offer Anthony a dozen roses that he can send to anybody he wants, and you're going to get to hear who he picks and what he puts on the card, okay? Okay. And I'm going to remind you here, Bree, that no matter who he picks, wait till he fills out the card before you say anything, Okay. Okay. All right, time for the two questions we ask every War of the Roses participant. Question one, are you sure you want all of this on the air? Yeah, I'm sure. All right, and question number two, how certain are you that when we offer him these free roses to send to somebody, he's going to pick you to send them to? Um, I don't know. Pretty sure, I guess. Okay, well, let's find out. Starting at random. Good morning. I'm calling for an Anthony please. This is him. Uh, good morning, Anthony. My name's Ashley, and I'm calling from a new floral delivery service called FloralDesigns.com. How are you today? Uh, I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. So the reason I'm calling is to ask how often you think you order flowers. Flowers? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Probably by uh, every couple of weeks or so. You said every couple of weeks? Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of a romantic guy. Okay, well, listen, you definitely need to try out our new service then. So here at FloralDesigns.com, we've developed a way you can order flowers simply by the touch of a button from your phone, which means you'll never have to visit a flower shop and you'll never have to pay those expensive online delivery fees. And the best part is... Because we're trying to spread the word about our service, we'd like to give you a one-time free trial that will cost you absolutely nothing. Oh, wow. That sounds good. Yeah, so basically all you have to do is use our service to send somebody you care about a dozen gorgeous roses, and we take care of the bill. So somebody gets roses from you, you get the credit, and we pick up the tab. Okay, well, what do you need from me? Basically, all I need to know is who you would like us to send these gorgeous red roses to. So I just need a first and last name. Okay, okay. Um, can, you, can you give me one second? Hey, yeah, sure, no problem. Okay. Hey. What was, uh, what was in your name? Uh, candle? Like a soup, right? Oh, okay. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay. Um, all right, well, I got the name. Uh, the name is Danielle. And the last name is Candle. Okay, great. Now, the flowers, they come with the card as well. So what would you like to print on the card? Okay, let me see. Uh, you can put, um... Okay, I got it. Uh, but uh, I really enjoy our lunch dates, especially the ones that end with you giving me dessert. Excuse me? Excuse me for interrupting, but can you explain why someone with a girlfriend is having lunch dates with another woman? Hello? Yes, hello. Why are you having lunch dates with some other girl when you have a girlfriend? And what exactly is dessert? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. Um. Okay. So it looks like Anthony hung up here, Bree. Oh hell no! Call him back right now. Oh. oh all right. Okay. Hang on a sec. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, 
say you just reached Anthony. I'm not in right now. If you need an email, your number, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Oh, wow. It didn't even ring. It went right to voicemail. You know what? That means, you know, either he's already on the phone with somebody else and he ignored our call, or as soon as he saw it ring, he hit ignore. Bree, what do you think is going on here? Is 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 this Danielle? Is that the girl that you were talking about? The one who just became single? Yeah, I think that's her. So are these lunch dates like innocent little lunches together or? No, probably he's during her on his lunch break. You should head to his apartment today during his lunch break and just like do a like a stakeout. If I could get to his apartment in time, I would. But I'm in Hampton and he lives in Virginia Beach. Let me do it. Let me do it. I'll go to his apartment and be a spy for you. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know who I am anyways don't, or what I look like. <laughs> don't you have stuff to do for work today after we get off the air? I mean, like, just some commercials and stuff, but I can hurry up and do them. Can you send me a picture of what he looks like? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, and I need to know what kind of car he drives to. Okay, hold on. Are, are you seriously going to this guy's apartment for a stakeout? Yes, it'll be fun. I'm going to stop at Popeye's and no. all that. Do you want to come? No, no, not not really. Okay, Bree, hang on the line, okay? Don't hang up. The Z-Morning Zoo's War of the Roses.